how to troubleshoot the Wi-Fi network, the wireless LAN network, how to solve the problems whenever we face any issue with our home Wi-Fi, with our office Wi-Fi. So this is the troubleshooting flow which we should follow. These are six steps and then some further sub steps which we can follow to solve our problem in addition to the previously shared methods i'll give a revision on those ones as well so first of all if our wi-fi is not stable is giving us problems so we should start with client connectivity troubleshooting method and we should confirm that whether the client is within the rf range for example if we are trying to connect from our laptop or mobile phone are we really in the range or we are outside the home, outside the office and whether it asks to, to associate or not, the, whether the client authenticates or not, whether the client requests and receives an IP address or not. Go to the settings about or go to your LAN settings on computer and then find. So after you have found all of this and everything goes well, you are getting an IP address, you are getting authentication and all of that still you have problems then the second step you should perform is to check the wireless LAN configuration setting at the infrastructure side not on the client side right first check on client side then check on the infrastructure side so check your security settings your ssid settings whether they are good or not log into your infrastructure and confirm everything if this is also good then the next step is to check the access point infrastructure settings Check your port level configuration, your power source, your access point and antenna orientation and its position, whether it's in correct position, on correct level, correct height, all of this. If this is also good, then check your client setting, check SSID setting, security settings, whether it's using WEP, WPA, WPA2, which method for security and is it matching on both sides or not. If this is also good, then use appropriate controller tools. If you are using wireless LAN controller, so use those controller tools like check the graphical user interface logs, check the CLI show command. If it's a Cisco access point, you can connect through Telnet SSH and then run the troubleshooting commands which I shared with you previously. If all of this is good, then use third party tools for troubleshooting, use OS based client utilities, use your Wi-Fi scanners, RF mapping tools. I also showed you these tools previously. So go there, check whether you are getting the signals from your router or maybe you are trying to connect to something else. Which band are you getting and which security settings are you getting how much data rate is it giving you and what is the mac address of your ap what is bss id all of this so most probably if you follow all of these steps then you will be able to resolve your problem of course you have to reset your client you have to restart your computer your mobile phone and also restart your access point or wi-fi router so if you are connected after this and still the wi-fi signals are not good you are getting very low speed or very unstable Wi-Fi then you can follow those steps that I told you previously that how to increase the range so not only to increase the range but to get the better coverage you can follow all these steps so check your frequency band and try to use the less crowded frequency band log into your router and change it you can hide your SSID because might be many other neighbors or other people intruders they are using your Wi-Fi network so you can hide it you can also check that which channel is best for you so when we have Wi-Fi let me turn on the Wi-Fi analyzer so these kind of software utilities you can use which tells us that what is the recommended channel which one is currently best for me so at the moment it is telling me that for 2.4 gigahertz channel number 6 is best for me you can see here and then channel 11 usually as well so use these kind of utilities check your neighboring networks and check the detail of your connected network so these kind of utilities you can use to troubleshoot and you can increase the range and speed and stability as well so you can place your wi-fi router in the center of your home at a proper location point the antennas properly disconnect all unused devices remove them blacklist their mac addresses if you don't recognize them put some foil so that you can get proper direction also you should always use mesh networking and avoid those cheap repeaters 
to avoid IP conflicts and SSID conflicts and keep your Wi-Fi router software always updated, right? So these are few steps which you can fine tune. But if your Wi-Fi is permanently down, then follow these steps for troubleshooting, which I told you these steps, these six steps, right? So now it's questions time. Also go through the lab, the practice lab configuration where you I have given you a task to perform that you have to configure a Wi-Fi access point and you have to use all of these settings for WAN, for security, for password. It will give you a very good idea how Wi-Fi routers work, how to configure them, how to set them up for the first time so that when you will be doing with your own hands, you will understand the things better for your real network. This lab has been designed in Cisco Packet Tracer, which is a free software. You can go to NetAcad or search in Google for Packet Tracer version 8 or 8.1. You can download and you can do some practice based on that. Follow the steps, the solution which I have given in this lab. So I'll share the PDF and .pkt file for this lab. You guys can practice, right? So now it's questions time. Let me ask you one question. What we have studied until now, which Wi-Fi interference is the most damaging? Is it co-channel, adjacent channel or non-Wi-Fi? We have discussed this in previous series. So you can answer in the comment section below. Also another question, which method gives stable Wi-Fi? Is it through Wi-Fi repeaters or we can achieve more stable Wi-Fi if we use mesh Wi-Fi networks? So please answer your, please put your answers in the comment section below. If you want me to make any other video on any topic related to Wi-Fi wireless, but more or less I have covered all the topics in this wireless series. So it, hopefully it will be best for your interview preparation for your certification exams related to Cisco, Huawei, Juniper, JNCIA, CCNA, HCNA, Nokia, NRS1, CompTIA, Network Plus or any other certification related to networks, right? So thank you for joining.